Good morning and welcome to our midweek reflection. I'm just going to read a poem from um, Mary Oliver. I don't know if any of you know her. Um, and she's a Christian writer and she writes a lot of poetry and a lot of devotionals and reflections. And this one's about spring. All day the flicker has anticipated the lust of the season by shouting. He scouts up tree after tree and at a certain place begins to cry out. My, in his black freckled vest, bay body with red trim and sudden chrome underwings, he is dapper. Of course somebody listening nearby hears him. She answers with a sound like hysterical laughter and rushes out into the field where he is poised on an old phone pole, his head swinging, his wings opening and shutting in a kind of butterfly stroke. She can't resist. They touch, they flutter. How lightly, altogether, they accept the great task of carrying life forward. In the crown of an oak, they choose a small tree cave, which they enter with sudden quietness and modesty. And for a while, the wind that can be a knife or a hammer subsides. They listen to the thrushes. The sky is blue or the rain falls with its spills of pearl. Around their reef of darkness, the leaves of the world unfurl. What a beautiful picture of spring, these two lovely birds and all that they represent, singing joyfully and just part of nature, um, God in creation, and of course, springtime and their nesting and their laying their eggs. And I love that last line, around their reef of darkness, the leaves of the world unfurl. And of course, that's what we think when we come to springtime, isn't it? That actually all that's been frozen under the earth for such a long time is coming out into full bloom and we feel hopeful. And I think we feel particularly hopeful at the moment because we've got our roadmap. The Prime Minister has published the roadmap out of lockdown and it feels really exciting. And I don't know about you, but I started to look at all of the dates and I started to transfer them into my diary, thinking, when can I see my family? When can I drive off to Cornwall? Um, you know, when, when can we go to the pub? Um, when can I just give a friend a, a warm embrace? It feels really exciting and it seems to resonate with this season of spring, the journey, new life, new hope. And in the roadmap, in the slogan that's come with it, Boris Johnson talks about no turning back. We won't turn back. We're on the trajectory to um, new life and freedom, he's called it. And I thought that was really true of our Christian journey as well. Actually, our journey of our travelling with God. See, once we turn to him and ask him to come into our lives and to walk with us and to journey with us, there's absolutely no going back. Through the highs and the lows, through the winters, through the really tough seasons, and my goodness, haven't we known them in this last year? Many of us have had loss. Some of us have had excitement, new births in the family, but sadly not able to um, spend time, um, perhaps with grandchildren, nieces, nephews. So it's been a really mixed season, hasn't it? But it's felt quite long. And at times I think we might have felt alone. God, where have you been? We feel that we've been abandoned. And the cry comes back. You haven't been abandoned. I carried you, I carried you through the season and I'll carry you into the next season. I will be there, I'm going ahead of you. That's what God promises and that's a really encouraging message as we enter spring. We're in a time of Lent now 
Um, and it's usually a time of giving up, as we know, to show God that we want to put him first and we don't want other things to get in the way. I think in this season we can take up as well. I think we can take up our journey and we can um, walk with God in this season and ask him to bring us out into this spring, into new life. So whether you've journeyed with God for a long time or whether it's new to you, ask him to come with you in, into to this springtime, into this season of new life and to refresh you. And dare I say it, not to rush the remainder of the journey. We're desperate to get back to be with our friends and families and work and normal life. But I think also we can just stand still and as in this poem, watch the birds flutter, see the crocuses come up, see the blossom coming on the trees and just thanking God for all that we have in creation and the knowledge that he carries us through every season and he will journey with us on every road map. Have a good day today.